Hey guys and welcome to the Luke's Life. Um, today I'm just kind of going to vlog. Um, yep. <laughs> I'm rocking the bare face again today because I'm letting my skin heal from all of the torture that I put it through so bad to my face. And I'm really, really excited because John's coming in tonight. And today's Thursday, so he's going to come in tonight and he's going to stay through till Sunday. He works like four tens, so he doesn't have to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which I'm really excited about. And he said he was going to surprise me, but he knows better. Because if you're on the road or something like that, don't do that to me. Like, I, I have to be praying for you. I have to tell you to be careful. I have to be emotionally prepared for you to be on a long trip like that. I'm just that way. I'm a worry wart through and through. So, he knew better. He knew better. And he's going to leave after work and come down. And I'm really excited. And I told him, I said, what's really going to, like, stink is we've not been able to get the lawnmower to work. And... It looks like we are in the jungle over here. I said, you're really going to have to help figure out how to fix this dang long mower so we can get this yard mowed. And he was like, yeah, sure, no problem. He's all up for yard work. He's a guy. He doesn't care. And I'm out here thinking, well, at least I'm going to get a little bit of exercise because I'll probably push mow and he'll probably weed eat. So I'm like, yeah, I didn't, you know, want to use you to do yard work when you come in, but it'll probably take us about three hours. I'm not going to show you the yard because my mom would have a conniption fit. So that's kind of what we're going to do. My mom and my Nana are actually gone at the moment. We're pretty sure this is another thing that kind of stinks. My grandmother has a car, but we're pretty sure either the water pump is out or there's a hole in the radiator hose. And we have to take that to get it fixed. So we had to go get a rental car this morning. Those things are expensive. Expensive, I tell you. I was shocked. They wanted a $200 deposit. What? No thanks. But it is what it is. Okay, I wasn't talking to you. Mama wasn't talking to you. No. I'm sorry. Every time I do like a little weird voice, she does this. Watch her. Here she comes. Here she comes. What are you doing? What are you doing, love? What are you doing, my lover bug? What are you doing, my lover bug? I love this dog. Ooh, mommy accidentally turned the phone on. And yes, y'all, I'm not a pet owner. I'm a pet mother because these dogs think I'm their mom. And they're my babies. And they're my babies. Yes, them is. Oh, I know. I know. Or just the cutest little thing ever. Or just the cutest little thing ever. I could literally film this dog all day long. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, what are you doing? She doesn't know. This dog is about the most jealous thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I can be like snuggling with John and she's got to be right up in it, son. She has to get right in the middle because she's like, um, excuse me. That's my mama. This is my life. I really wish I did more fun things to vlog, but truthfully and honestly, honestly, oh my God, I need sleep. But truthfully and honestly, I don't have a very exciting, spontaneous style life. I'm just a normal person. And I would be doing cleaning routines and morning routines and laundry routines. But y'all, for the life of me, I edit on my phone. And I cannot figure out how to put music over just one part of this video. If y'all have any suggestions or you know how to do that, Hit your girl up. I'm leaving my email down below. You can comment below. I don't care what you do. Please let me know. Because I could be doing so many more things, but I cannot figure out how to put music in the background or over top of a piece of video on my phone. I edit from iMovie on my iPhone, and I cannot figure out how to do it. So if you all know how to do it, please leave a link to whatever it is I got to watch, or leave a link to whatever it is I got to read, or just flat out tell me. That would be great. I'd appreciate that. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my dishes. Okay, guys, so I'm now in my kitchen. And I don't know if this is fun for you all. Like, watch. But I'm going to do the dishes. <laughs> I just started a load of laundry. And it's all the towels. Um, I might do a video on, like, my favorite cleaning products. I'm not really going to show you all me, like, doing all of the dishes. I'll just kind of put a couple clips in here so you can see what I'm doing. This is basically what I'm doing today. Um, sorry, I was looking out the window. That's pretty much.
much it. Uh, I'm trying to get as much clean as I can before my mom and my nana get home. I've also moved our kitchen table. It's over there now. You can see it. I moved it up against that wall. Don't mind all that crap that's on it. I gotta move that too. We did Nana's hair this morning, so our purse is out. Um, a mug, some water, some notebooks, all her hair stuff sitting over there. So, I'm gonna do the dishes. Yeah, yeah. Is this entertaining for you all? It might be. Let's do this. Because right now I'm just procrastinating. This is what I'm working with. And normally I do dishes every single night before I go to bed. But I didn't do them last night. And I cooked. <laughs> and we don't have a dishwasher. Well, we do. It's me. And I wanted to show you all this. This is kind of how um, I drain my hamburger meat. I don't put it in the sink. <laughs> this is my strainer. This is a metal bowl with three plastic bags in it. Some paper towels. And then what I do is I put my strainer or my colander, whatever you call it on top and then I pour my meat over into it and it drains through and then I put my meat back in my skillet and this way I don't have to worry about all the grease and nasty stuff going down my drain because you don't want that I found that out the hard way you don't want that I'm finally using my rear facing camera so I'm really hoping that I don't like lose enough memory on my phone guys I do my dishes a little bit different I don't fill my sink up I wet a rag, I put some dish liquid on it, I get my wet, my, I get my wet wrap. <laughs> oh God, I get my rag wet, put some, I've said this already, I need sleep. Anyway, I digress. I just wet my rag, put some dish liquid on it, and then if I need a little extra water, I'll turn it on, and then I just kind of fill up the other side of the sink, and when the other side of the sink's full, I just rinse, and then I put them in my dish drainer. So, here we go. You're not going to probably get to see all of this just simply because I don't know how much time I have like, to film because of the storage on my phone. So that's what I do. I just do that. And then I usually start with silverware. As you can see, I like to stack everything like this. My silverware is over here. So I just start there. And I've already cleaned out my sink. Now this, I'd have to rinse because it's got a lot of stuff on it. Then I turn it back off. Because, like Barney says, turn the water off. Save water. Barney used to be my favorite. Anyway, y'all probably didn't want to know that. See, this would be a good point to put music in, but guess who doesn't know how? Me. Now that I have all of the utensils rinsed, I start out with things that can be stacked this way. So I start out with plates, cutting boards, then I move on to cups, then to bowls. That's just how I do it because that's how it stacks the easiest in this mess. So, yeah. I also have one of these little things in my sink so that if food comes off, it doesn't go into my sink. It gets stuck in that. So. That's just how I do it. Now I'm on to cups. <laughs> and I, I don't rinse these in any particular order. I've got bowls in here. One thing I cannot stand, and if y'all haven't noticed, I have my dish drainer like right there and if I like to push down too hard the soap suds go that way and like that and I'm like why why you do that why you betray me because I don't want to have to rinse the utensils again y'all not even a little bit I ain't talking to you no dogs looking at me like oh me what no not you Okay guys, cute little trick. When it comes to bottles like these, that this thing won't fit down in, because I can't reach the bottom. Can't get it. Woo! I can't get it out. I push my dish rag down in it. Add a little bit of water. 
take, hold it firm because this could really go bad. Take a wooden spoon and plant it out. It moves the washcloth around in it and then you just kind of pull it back out. I just spin it like one of them things at the car wash. There you go. Smell a trick on how to clean out the inside of these things. I'm really meticulous when it comes to the inside of bottles, especially because my niece drinks out of this one. I'm going to show you all my stacking skills. So right now I have my cups right here. I think there might be one or two still hiding in that mess, but maybe not. I just kind of stack them like this. I put all the cups down first. And then all my plates and stuff are back here and all of this is right here and I'll show you what I do next. See, I've already started. I just stack that there, that there, it goes over a cup. Now watch this. Okay, now this is what I've done. I still have a couple dishes left. I've put my plastic cup right there. These two bowls are the exact same kind. So I stack this one on top of this one, put this bowl up sideways right here because it's got that lip right there and you can just scoot it on in. And then this plastic bowl on top of that because it has a little catcher thingy plastic bowl on top of that and I put my butter bowl which y'all here in the south these aren't butter bowls these are butter that turns into cereal or any other kind of bowl so it's usually a taco bowl in this house hit the like button if y'all use butter bowls I miss the round butter bowls anyway off subject now I'm gonna show you what I'll do with the rest of these to stack it and who's that calling now I only have these things left, and this is how I've got it stacked. <laughs> oh, Lord. I put this bowl over top of the butter bowl, and that bowl over top of that bowl, and they're all leaning on these two spatulas holding it up. And then I put these little cups over top of spoons and forks. And then I'll finish this off and show you how I stack the rest. This may not be interesting, but it's like the adult version of Jenga. The final product. <laughs> of how I stack everything in this house into that one little dish drainer. And this is when you pray to God nothing falls. So now what I do, now that my little sink is empty. Do any of y'all play that game where you're trying to get the soap to go down so you spray it in this side and get it all out and then you spray it back over here trying to get it to go down but it starts to come back up over there. So you switch back over to here and make sure it goes down. And you switch back over to there and make sure it goes down. And you, whoop. Anybody else do that? No, just me? Okay. But now, you'll see that I've got some food in there. And that kept that from going down my drain. Now it's time to clean the sink out. And this is how I do it. I have this Clorox foamer with bleach. It's lemon scented because, duh, who doesn't like lemon scented? cleaning supplies. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I really love them. But the big question is how do I keep that spray from spritzing onto those? And this is what I do. I literally cover one side up with like a microfiber cloth. And then I don't like stand way back here and spray it. I get in the sink and spray it so that it doesn't really pop back up. And then I just spray it onto those. Spray it a little bit there. I try not to do like extremely large spritzes unless it's on this side of the sink because I don't want it to get on my dishes. So now I'll just clean it out. Now the sink is clean and the dishes are done and I am one happy person because I don't have any more dishes to do and dishes are probably my least favorite thing in the entire world. So guys, instead of considering this a blog, even though this was blog style, I think I'm gonna call this my dishwashing routine. Primarily because everybody these days has dishwashers, but there are still people who don't. And I like the old school hand washing method. I mean, if I had a dishwasher, I'm not gonna lie, I would use a dishwasher. But I just kinda wanted to show you all how I do my dishes. If you all did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you stick around, so hit that subscribe button. I hope you all are having a wonderfully blessed evening, morning, noon, night, whatever time it is you're watching this, wherever you are. I hope it's genuinely blessed. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, guys.